I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. And I have got really dirty glasses. I think that's better. Let's start again. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah, I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. And I'm Hannah with clean glasses. <laughs> okay, we're talking knitting in winter today and I got a, quite a few tips for you. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tips for you. And knitting in winter can be great fun. It is the time of year that it's just right to knit. It feels so right. First tip is to find a long project. If we're going out less, it will feel natural to be inside more. And being inside more means that you have space around you to knit, to enjoy that knitting. A longer project could be a few things. It could be knitting sets of things. Very simply here, I have a cowl and I have the cuffs that go with it. And these just take that little bit of extra time. It's a thinner yarn and it's not a complicated um, stitch pattern, but it's a pattern that you need to take care of while you're knitting. Take a bit more time to knit this kind of thing. So a set could be a really good start for you. And what I love knitting, and I really surprised myself when I first did this. I had so much yarn because it was discontinued and I thought I really want to knit with it. But this blanket, and I also wear it as a shawl sometimes, um, it's on my bed now and I knitted it at least 10 years ago. So it's such a comfortable blanket I absolutely adored knitting it and it was that longer project it took me a couple of months and then I could knit a second one of these and I knitted one in the same colours but in a different pattern so it felt like a long project because I knew that I wanted to knit more than one blanket so that kind of thing might really help this is put the knit stitches on the needle and knit it it's a single piece of knitting it's not sewing pieces together. Whereas this project, which was something that I knitted over a few winters, um, I didn't really get it out during the summer or the spring. It was, this is my winter project for a few years. It's squares. I knitted them in between other projects and I really enjoyed it. Um, this is a small one of the blankets. I knitted one that's much larger than this as well. But I knitted all of the squares and then I put them all together and I decided how big I wanted the blankets to be. So this kind of knit could inspire you to just keep that knitting going over the winter. It's a great time to find a long project. It's a great time to find lots of little projects that make a bigger impact in your knitting. So the next tip is to just think about the way that you're buying the yarn for these knits. If it's a longer project, if it's a set of items, it maybe it's three pairs of socks maybe it is a cowl and a cuff you're buying yarn perhaps you just upgrade your yarn more you will say I don't all have to buy it all at once if you're if you're purchasing things over the winter you can buy three three balls of yarn one month and three balls of yarn the next month and three balls of yarn the next month if you are deciding to knit everyone in the family a pair of socks that's a really nice long project. You don't have to purchase all of the yarn at once. It won't feel like such a big burden on your purse. And the luxurious yarn will mean that you are even more excited about knitting. When you upgrade your yarn, it might feel smoother. You might enjoy the colour more. The way that it knits, um, the plies really work well with the needles. And the fact that you're putting this much time and energy into a project this big will also mean that you want that extra quality of yarn um, so that the item, when it's finished, lasts longer. If you're putting a whole winter's worth of knitting into a project, you say, well, I want this to last for years. For example, this has lasted me a really long time. Yes, I used it for a few years and then I put it away and I thought, I'm going to pull it out when I feel like it. And now I've pulled it out and I've been using it for another few years and I really don't want to put it away again. I love these blankets. I love the way that um, I put two of these on my bed when I go to sleep at night. They just give me that extra weight and I really love the fact that it's my knitting that's giving me that rather than me buying a weighted blanket, for example. Knowing that the yarn that went into them was good enough quality to last me this long 
does make me smile. It helps me remember that it is certainly worth investing in the yarn that you're going to knit in. So I did mention this next tip in the beginning. The fact that we're indoors for more time can really help. This can help your knitting in various ways. Yes, you're going to be knitting more, but also it means that you can really think about the way that you knit, what's around you when you're knitting. Put a lap blanket, knit a lap blanket, have that lap blanket keeping you cosy. Light the fire in the stove, have a couple of candles around you. Imagine at Christmas all the cinnamon blends and, and maybe an apple cinnamon pie in the oven or something. You can just smell it. And then you've got your lovely tea by your side, you're enjoying watching Netflix or Spotify is on your phone. So many different things that can just make the knitting experience something that's memorable. We don't live through life to do one thing after another thing after another thing after another thing and not remember any of these experiences. Let's make knitting something that we remember as well. And the other thing is if you are knitting and you're sitting down and you're knitting and you really have made yourself comfortable, remember to get up. Remember that your brain can get tired if you're sitting in one place, the energy isn't moving around your body. So get up occasionally, make yourself another cup of tea, go and check that apple pie in the oven. Um, so many different things that you can do just to get up, have a bit of a stretch, do some of the yoga videos that are here on the um, Knit With Hannah channel. All those little things will just help you and make sure that you're not making as many mistakes. If you're getting a bit tired and you're just sitting in one place for a while, then maybe you will make more mistakes because you haven't got that concentration, you haven't got that energy keeping you going. So yeah, get up, move around, that kind of thing can really help when you're knitting for a long time. Okay, this is the fun one. It's time that you could learn a new skill. It's something that I recognise in winter, I can learn something new. Learning a new skill in knitting is brilliant. Um, it just moves you on and inspires you to knit even more. But also, learning something new, say, in the next two months before Christmas, means that you can practice it and use it and really enjoy it, and really get experienced in it in the months after Christmas. I've got lots of courses um, over in the Knit with Hannah Academy. I will leave the link below. You can go and look, check them all out. We've got cable courses, lace knitting, um, circular knitting, if you've never done any of that before. And as I've mentioned before, which leads me on to the next tip, it's not the new skill like cable knitting and lace knitting. It's the background knowledge. It's the complexity of knitting that can really help you plan your knits before you start knitting understand why you're using one yarn over another. Caring for the finished knit wear, once you've finished all the knitting, how can you make it last even longer? All those different things that we talk about, even learning to fix more mistakes. And I think that kind of knitting knowledge can only do you good. Whether you're reading a library book or you're watching videos and doing a course, both of those things will really, really help you. Okay, two more tips to go. The next one, don't let yourself get bored because if you get stuck in a rut and you're knitting one thing after another, after another, after another, if you're knitting the same thing and that one thing week after week after week, knitting session after knitting session after knitting session and you find yourself going, oh no, it's this stitch pattern again, I'm fed up with it. That isn't making your knitting joyful, it's not making it feel easy, it's actually making you wonder whether you want to give up. Well. Mix it up. Find a small item to knit for the weekend. If it's as simple as knitting a bookmark to put in a gift, if you're gifting someone a book for Christmas, knit them a bookmark so I can go in as well. Um, it could be knit a mug cosy for your favourite mug. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't keep the cup or the tea that warm, but it's a bit interesting decoration. Knit yourself a coaster. Maybe you'd like to knit a cotton face cloth or a dishcloth. Then go for it. Pick something that's a quick knit that you can knit alongside it or in between sessions. It won't feel like this trudge <laughs> of the same knitting pattern and it will keep and it will motivate you to go back to the things that feel a bit like they're um, never ending. Okay, my last tip is to spend this winter knitting. Yeah, obviously, but don't knit everything for someone else. If you've got a big family or lots of friends who are saying, oh, knit that for me, knit that for me, knit that for me, knit that for me, 
make sure you knit something for you. It doesn't have to be something that you wear. It can be things that you use around the house um, that will remind you that you're a great knitter. I love having the coasters, the placemats, that kind of thing just sat around the house. And I go, you're a great knitter, Hannah. You love knitting so much. It's just here around you. Like I said, I've got this blanket on my bed every single day. I know that it's there, banging myself on my nose. These little things can really make knitting inspiring and want you to keep knitting more because you see them and you go, I knitted that. What shall I knit next? Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be here all throughout the winter, inspiring you and motivating you and indeed motivating myself and inspiring myself to keep knitting. I do hope you'll join me. Do click the subscribe button. It's right here. If you've been watching my channel for a while and you just haven't subscribed because YouTube keeps showing you my videos anyway, then click the button. It can really help this channel. Thank you very much. Right, I will see you again soon. Here's a video I think you might like. Bye for now. Happy knitting.